they had this prayer life. Mother Teresa is incredibly dry, very dry prayer life. They asked her mother, when was the last time you had a beautiful spiritual experience? She said, I can't remember. It's been more than 30 years. It was dry. And people think that dryness in prayer is a fruit of that you're far from God. But you're, yeah, in the desert, it feels dry. But if you stay there long enough, you'll realize how much life is there and the stillness. And I know sometimes it's dry, but you sometimes a priest taught me a couple weeks ago. He said the fruit of prayer is not always received in prayer. By persevering in a prayerful life, the fruits will appear in other ways, not always in that moment of prayer. So persevere in that. And I'll leave you with this, that if after today's talk, your heart is heavy, you have some thinking you have to do, there's only one thing you need to know. It's how God will look upon you for doing those things. This is how he sees you. There's a dad a few years ago dropped his son off at preschool, and he said, I love you. Pick up after school. Promise, come get you. Kissed his son, went to work. Huge earthquake struck Armenia. The dad shoots the car back to the school. It's too late. School's collapsed. Faculty's dead. And he said, I know my son is in the corner of the school. So he's tearing off the rocks and the glass. And he dug for an hour, five hours, and knuckles are bleeding open. His back is cramped up. He dug for 10 hours, 15. People mocked him, you know, give up. They're gone. You have to accept it. He dug for 20 hours. The guys, fathers, you dig for your kid forever. 30 hours. He said, all I could think when I dug for my child is the promise I had always made to him, which is no matter what happens, you know I'll always be there for you. 38 hours later, he shoved a board off, and then under that was the face of his son. And he looked down upon his son, and his son looked up to him and said, Papa. And his son turned to 14 kids trapped alive with him, and he said, See, I told you my daddy was coming to get me. I told you he promised. This is the love of God the Father. doesn't matter where yours at.